Okay guys, back for another Dokkan Battle video and today we'll be talking about this month's edition of Dokkan Battlefield. So we did get the monthly reset, but as well as a monthly reset, we got a refresh or recycle of brand new enemies to face. For those who are unaware, you know, typically this is the time in the year where Dokkan does this. I'm also very surprised we didn't get to see uh, the brand new Dokkan Battlefield LR. I can only presume that the original plan was that it would be tied to Dragon Ball Super Superhero because the film was of course delayed. They have now had to have pushed that LR back. So whenever that content does come out, I would not be surprised if we get the Dokkan Battlefield LR then. But again, that's purely speculation. So, you know, with this month's Dokkan Battlefield, I've seen a lot of people struggle with Broly. I myself cleared it first time. I'm not really trying to brag. I just got very lucky with LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Um, and, you know, coincidentally enough, the, the second boss who I've actually seen a lot of people struggle with or struggle against is actually this Broly. And it gets, you know, it had me thinking for a second. I wonder why that is, right? It's like, it's not like we had the LR gods who are tech. They would demolish this stage and of course, LR Super Saiyan 4s would of course would demolish this stage right here, right? Now again, the typings will always recycle and reset every single month. So it's not really a case to be made, but I just thought it was very, very interesting. Now, personally, I found this month's edition of Dokkan Battlefield to be very easy, just because all of these enemies can actually be sealed. Their super attacks can be sealed. Now, the one thing I found is that it does suck. I don't know why, but it seems if Dokkan programmed these bosses to super attack you slot one, turn one, as the first attack of the fight, which can sometimes suck, especially if you're going up against uh, some of these latter bosses who, you know, their SA damage is 400,000 plus. And again, we'll, we'll get onto Broly, but he... Uh, Broly is just built different. But as I said, I just feel like this was fairly easy to take down. Because if we take a look at past iterations of Dokkan Battlefield and the most difficult bosses there, a la, you know, Jiren or Omega Shenron, they have always been known to lock you, uh, seal your units from super attacking, lower defense, and so that creates quite a quite a problem right because like you have someone like LR Goku and Frieza who then gets I don't know locked and sealed in slot one and that's pretty much game over for you because their unit gets a lot of defense on super and this is more indicative of Dokkan's design for units but they just seem very reluctant to drop units who can tank in slot one like your golden freezers like your SS3 Vegeta's right units like that so very quickly, uh, before we actually get into some potential units that you can bring, I do also want to talk about type. I was going to say typings, but you know, typings, type modifiers, whatever you want to call it. And again, thank you to Noob Legend here, but the way type modifiers work, it's actually in your best interest to be bringing the, the same class of character that you're currently fighting as an enemy. So let's say I'm facing a Broly. Of course, that Broly will be an extreme type character. It's in my best interest to, to bring, of course, an extreme type team. And the reason for that is because opposite class, you will always be doing more damage to them and they will always be doing more damage to you. It's a reason why, for example, um, say in like the legendary Goku event, why a, an extreme type unit will always require more defense as opposed to a super class unit. Again, you can test this for yourself. You can take in a super class unit with 160k defense, take in um, an extreme class unit with 160k defense in any stage, and if you are facing the opposite class, they will always be taking more damage. So that is just something to keep in mind, and you know this is something that I didn't do, but this is this is definitely something that I'm going to recommend. Do not waste extreme physical against Chaozu. Chaozu can go down very easily. He has the lock, which can be annoying, but Again, this guy, his like offensive and defensive numbers and his super attack damage is like very manageable. You can probably honestly defeat him with like the free to play Ginyu Force team or the free to play Bardock team. So my recommendation is every time Dokkan Battlefield resets, I presume Chaozu and Broly will be the same typing every single month. Just make sure that you reserve the extreme class unit, extreme class unit, the extreme class team for Broly in the end. Uh, so that is, again, you can read this in your own time. This is very simple to read. Um, and I, I may even just like attach this as a pinned comment. So again, thank you to Noob Legend for that. Now, in regards to Broly, the reason why he's so difficult is because he has 
for starters, 60 million HP, almost 300,000 attack, and then his defense is 1 million. But he also has a 725,000 SA damage shot. Now, you know, in contrast to Omega Shenron and then Dragon Ball Super Broly from the Ultimate Red Zone, this is, this is very low. But remember, this is like big because I feel like previous Dokkan Battlefield bosses didn't have stats as high as this. And for Broly, and I presume this is mainly because of the Dokkan Fest Broly, remember this guy stacks attack and defense. For every super attack that that Int Broly performs, or I say the Int Broly, but the Broly performs in Dokkan Battlefield, he also raises attack by 20% and defense by 20%. He's essentially a stacking type unit. Now the good thing is, is they only use super attacks once in the turn, but, and this is a, a, another but here, he of course has the traditional AoE Broly gimmick, right? You know the one I'm talking about, the ones that you can typically find in the Broly Dokkan events, or the ultimate red zone when you're going up against Dragon Ball Super Broly in the third phase. So that does suck because, as I mentioned earlier, Dokkan is very reluctant in dropping the slot 1 units. Nowadays, units are getting upwards of 50% defense when attacking or when performing a super attack. So that begs the question, how do you beat Broly? Very simple, if you take a look, you can debuff his attack and you can seal him. So if you just go to sealing super attack type units, we'll just take a look at a few of these units. So these are units that you can use um, in terms of them sealing super attack via them super attacking. Master Roshi will be very good. He seals as, seals on his 18 key. He also supports. He has his 30% chance to dodge all attacks. And most importantly, he also has a revival skill. Now, the thing to talk about with his revival skill, remember you do want two other Turtle School characters on the team but that will be fairly simple just slap on two of the gokus and you'll be fine bardock is going to be another very good option because of his leader skill remember these uh og lrs have very good sub leader skills for dark on battlefield bardock himself as well uh seals on his 18 key uh as well as his raising defense one turn as well as you can see that's his leader skill so super types get four key 120 and then extreme types get three key and 90 percent which is Fairly solid for Dogon Battlefield. If you get lucky with additionals, this will also help him out defensively. Now, uh, I don't foresee any issues with Bardock with key because again, you get six key when facing one enemy. And his link set is pretty good as well, right? The same lineage, PFB, and then shattering the limit. So Bardock is a very good choice here. Great Samuel 1 and 2, another very good choice. They seal on their 12 key as well as their 4 key and 50% defensive support to super class enemies. Sorry, super class enemies to super class allies. They also debuff, but they only debuff extreme class enemies defense. So for the most part, that's pretty much irrelevant. Uh, Freezer, honestly, he may be... Is he going to be the best unit on this list? <sighs> Maybe. I mean, there is actually one more we'll talk about in a second. But Freezer, again, he's pretty much a jack of all trades type unit. It's actually pretty... Uh, do, de do I dare call him underrated? I feel like no one talks about him, right? But for this stage specifically... Remember, he's the same typing or the same class as Broly, so he won't be taking as much damage as a super class unit would do. He stacks defense, he seals, he has dodge, he has a multiplicative buff, he also lowers attack, and then in the event that you are under 49% health or less, you can transform into Golden Freezer and then pick up his 50% damage reduction, so that will make him very good, a very powerful unit for this stage. Gowasu and, Z sorry, Gowasu and Zamasu, another very good unit to bring 50% chance to dodge they give all allies two key and 50% defense and they of course seal themselves so very good I'm not the biggest fan of this Gotenks because he does require three super attacks to fully build up but he does seal as well so I suppose if you're able to bring some sort of fusion setup that could help you out there and uh, I think that's pretty much it for units who seal on super attack permanently so now we're coming on to units who seal through other means. I mean, this Barbady and Kibu could be, again, a solid option because they have a 30% chance to seal, and that is on both their 12 and 18 key. So they're potentially a viable option. Boo tanks or Buhan, very good as well. Remember, in either form, they heal at the start of turn, which is which will help you, especially in that Broly phase. The uh, Buhan, sorry, I, know, I keep wanting to say Buhan, but the Boo tanks, remember, stacks defense as well. And then once you're able to transform on turn four, he then seals for five turns. So that can be very, very useful. Um, but yeah, this is the unit I'm mainly talking about. Launch is probably secretly, like, the best unit to bring, right? And there's... It's very simple why. On her, on, sorry, on her super attack, she greatly lowers attack and defense, so she's debuffing by 30%. She then has two additionals, or she launches two additionals, 
each of which has a 50% chance of becoming a super attack. So even if we don't even factor in hidden potential system, even on 55%, there's a situation where she can potentially double or maybe even triple super attack, debuffing Broly by 90%. And if you've, been, if you've read a kit correctly and you've tried to ut utilize it correctly, she also seals the attack enemy super attack when there is another Peppy Gallows category ally attacking in the same turn. Now this seal only lasts for the one turn, but that seal for one turn in tandem with other attack lowering units, I mean, the launch is just absurd. And again, Peppy Gals is a team full of units who are giving huge amount of support, huge amount of key, Attack lowering, defense lowering, ceiling. There's a lot of utility going on with that team. And of course, there's probably one of the best units in the game when you're going up against Pure Saiyans, Tech Kalevla, who just gets a free 100% chance to dodge. So launch is secretly one of the best choices here. And yeah, that's pretty much it for sealers. I mean, there are attack lowers as well. We can just take a quick look at the physical type units for this month's Dokkan Battlefield selection. You could be solid, just remember though, uh, for, th for this unit to be solid, you're gonna wanna use another tournament of power unit because the tournament of power link is the only key link that they have maybe if they get an, maybe if android 17 gets an easier he could be interesting same thing with the android trio the broly trio could be interesting as well but you will have to play around their kind of weird orb mechanic remember they get i think it's like a 100 percent chance to dodge from seven from seven orbs and then they they provide a whole host of other buffs dependent on the type of orbs that you collect uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, take a look at passive skill lowering attack. Uh, Omega, wow, yeah, okay, I can't believe I forgot about this guy, but Omega, and you, again, you pair Omega up with someone like Golden Freezer, Boo Tanks. Extreme Physical can very, I think, easily take down Omega. Sorry, take down Omega, take down Broly. You may be in a, a bit of a long call, right? Because again, you are dealing less damage than a super type team would do, but I feel like with you debuffing Broly to hell, he's going to be very easy to defeat. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think. I've seen a lot of people struggle with Bojack as well. As long as you have Tech Goku, I just don't see a problem. Um, the one thing I will say is though, if you don't have the gods, this guy can be very stubborn. His defense seems very high as well as his damage reduction. But at that point, it's just a game of make sure you can seal him, make sure you can lower his attack. Although actually can't, his attack can't be lowered. So just make sure you seal him and uh, you should be good to go from there. So Again, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.